What's up, people of the interweb blog this? Uh, so I ordered some from Sweetwater. I decided to open the box, and then I was like, hey, I want to launch a YouTube channel. So I'm uh, doing an unboxing video. I hate unboxing videos. But I'll try to keep to the genre. So one of the things I ordered was a, a microphone. I have a an AT2020, and it's it does real nice, but this one looks really cool. It's like the best feature. Just kidding. I hope it's an upgrade. It came in a really nice box. Look at this. The box is, that box is tight. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The cardboard box is, is nice. Okay. Okay. I'm a little excited. Um, let's just figure out how to open this without ripping the cardboard box since it's so nice. I think it's this side. Okay. For your viewing pleasure. Okay, so what to expect when opening your new Spark microphone, I guess. Uh, we got, oh, this is nice. This is a cool feature. So this is pretty cool. This looks like a, it had a frequency chart. It's got a nice little thing there. The, the visuals of the microphone, of course, but that doesn't matter. I got a sticker. It's a little, it's a little messed up, but you know what? Sticker's a sticker. Love stickers. You got a little uh, thing. They really treat their microphones like professional microphones on every level, and I really like that about the Blue Company. This looks like it might be a Basswood, um, is it Basswood or Basswood? I heard someone say Basswood recently. I think it's Basswood. Anyway, a Basswood box, so it's not like, you know, mahogany or anything, but it looks really cool. And I keep saying stuff like it looks really cool, and I know that really doesn't matter to, you know, my mixes or the sound of anything, but if you talk to any studio owner, you'll know that looks are not to be taken lightly. If your studio looks like shit, like, well, mine right now, then it's going to be kind of uncomfortable to be in. So one of the reasons I, I picked this mic out, not only because it has a smoother frequency response and like, you know, a really wide range of applications and it's a true large diaphragm condenser. Why don't you take the shot over here to the window so you can actually see that condenser capsule. Um, oh, there you go. You can see a little bit of the condenser capsule, the way it's framed. Um, my AT2020 doesn't have that. It, it's got the same shape as a large diaphragm condenser, but when you hold it up to light, you see this little electric. So, it's true, large diaphragm condenser, but one of the main reasons I, I went with a blue product was because it looks snazzy. It makes the atmosphere more enjoyable for the person who's singing into it. Um, and everybody knows that feels are everything when it comes to a good performance. All in all, this looks pretty good. Um, you know, just from a visual thing. I know that's not what really matters here, but later we're going to be checking out what it does in the ISO booth. 